I'm Rebecca Judd and welcome to Postcards, which is brought to you by Dodge. This week we're in the Dandenong Ranges and the beautiful building behind me is Burnham Beaches. There's a great story here and I'll show you around this historic estate a little later. First though, let's see what the others get up to. Glenn goes to Beachmont Garden Retreat, the Courtyard and the Ride Cafe. Lauren makes some new discoveries in Olinda. Brody chooses a treatment at the brand new Spa de Marrakesh in Montrose. And I take a tour of Shannon Bennett's much publicised Burnham Beaches in Sherbrooke. Without a doubt, one of the best things about living in a city like Melbourne is having a place like the Dandenong Ranges on your doorstep. Beautiful accommodation, amazing places to eat, and some great local attractions make it the perfect spot for a weekend away. The drive from Melbourne to the Dandenongs will take you around one hour, and today I've found quite possibly one of the most beautiful places you could stay in the area. Beachmont Garden Retreat is a stunning property in Olinda that comprises of this luxurious abode which is perfect for couples, families and groups. There's four bedrooms so it can comfortably sleep up to eight adults. There's three bathrooms, two living rooms, a formal dining room, casual sitting room and a full kitchen with a breakfast hamper provided for you during your stay. So whether you're after a weekend away with friends or a large property for that special occasion, this place has it all. The Dandenongs is the type of place that as soon as you arrive, you start to relax straight away. And to be honest, I could quite happily just kick back in here all day. But one of the most impressive features of this beautiful property is the 10 acres of sculptured gardens that surround the retreat. So I really should go take a look. The combination of these beautiful gardens and the spacious retreat make the property a popular location for small weddings and functions looking for an intimate setting close to Melbourne. If you're just here for a weekend like me, you'll be keen to get out and explore and I'm taking the short trip from Alinda to Sassafras to check out one of the area's most interesting places to visit. Believe it or not, the Dandenong Ranges is one of the best places in the state to pick up fantastic homewares. And a great place to start is the Courtyard here in Sassafras. The Courtyard has an eclectic range of furniture, homewares, artwork, giftwares and handmade jewellery spread throughout the seven-room showroom. And owner Catherine Court is on hand to show me some of her favourite pieces. Catherine, tell me about this beautiful furniture you have in here and also the connection with your family. Yeah, it's from the UK. My family are from the UK, I'm English. And the name of the furniture is called Frank Hudson, who was my grandfather. And it's been going since 1947. All beautifully handcrafted furniture. This particular range is called Spire. It's now manufactured in Indonesia. My three brothers still work with the company in the UK. So they're constantly in Indonesia, quality controlling and training the craftsmen. And it's all wonderfully made. It's a new design. It's sort of a contemporary edge on traditional furniture. Some of the other brands you'll find here include Have You Met Miss Jones, Bonnie and Neil, Pony Rider and Martin, Nick and Karen, plus some fantastic pieces from local artists, upholsterers and jewellers. With plans to open up a coffee and cake caravan in the coming months, you could spend all day here. And all this shopping sure makes you hungry, but you don't have to travel too far to find a good feed. Another reason I love visiting Sassafras is because it's a great spot to grab something to eat. And Ripe Cafe in the heart of the village has something on the menu everyone will love. Ripe Cafe has always been the locals' favourite, but now the secret is out. You can kick back in front of the fire with one of their famous baguettes, tuck into a tasty meal or a hearty soup, choose from a massive range of mouth-watering cakes and desserts, and of course, this is where you'll find the best coffee in town. Plus, there's a great selection of goodies you can take home or back to your accommodation. With so many interesting things to see and do, plus beautiful accommodation and great places to eat, you really need to start planning your next weekend away in the Dandenong Ranges. For more information on any of the places we've just featured in this story, the contact details are on screen. Enjoy a behind-the-scenes look at some of Melbourne's oldest and most iconic buildings as part of Open House Melbourne, taking place in two weekends' time. Or why not plan a trip to the Murray to enjoy this year's Winter Blues Festival in Echuca, Moama, from the 24th to the 26th of July. And Run Melbourne is a great way to promote healthy living by participating in a major community event 
and raise funds for your chosen cause, so don't forget to enter now. Join me after the break as I wander through the picturesque town of Alinda, discover some beautiful treasures and some gourmet treats. Alinda is a charming little township located between Mount Dandenong and Sassafras, approximately 50 kilometres from Melbourne. It's home to some gorgeous and rather unique stores, including Mangana Arts and Crafts, which has been selling an eclectic mix of treasures since 1983. Judy, there are so many beautiful things here, it's almost hard to know where to look. Can you tell us what's on offer? What's on offer is a really vast collection of things that we've developed over 30 years and uh, we travel the world now and we meet with the makers and the craftsmen and we really try here to get really genuine materials, wood and brass and anything that's just a beautiful product. We're just back from Italy, we have tapestries that we bought over there in Florence and we travel a lot to India, we've got a lot of contacts and friends there now and they know what products we like and we're getting those through at better prices all the time and it really is quite affordable as well. Just up the road is Melaloo, another Alinda gem worth popping into. This delightful boutique is home to a gorgeous range of items that epitomise true beauty and style. Wander amongst unique accessories, handbags and shoes, or perhaps treat yourself to some traditional French glassware or a timeless piece of clothing. There are so many beautiful things in here, but I cannot go past a gorgeous piece of Italian knitwear. So Cathy, this is coming home with me. Meanwhile, a hop, skip and a jump away is Old Alliance Merchants, a progressive lifestyle store that sells artisan homewares, gifts, fabrics and paints sourced from around the globe. This thriving business also offers interior design consultations and creative workshops as well as styling and staging services. Lorna Jane, your store has a rather unusual name. Can you tell us what it means? Yes, the Old Alliance is an ancient treaty between the kingdoms of France and Scotland, dating back to the 1200s. And you're Scottish, so you brought a bit of Scottish to the Danny Dogs. I have indeed. <laughs> it's a fusion of Scotland and France. And, and inside, it's just absolutely gorgeous. What are some of the you. items that are selling really well at the moment? The textiles go well, the cushions, fabrics, candles. And I've noticed the DIY paints. Yes, we are an official stockist of Annie Sloan Chalk Paint, which is a, an amazing DIY decorative paint. The colours are beautiful. Finally, I swapped homewares for homemade food at the Deli Platter located along Mount Dandenong Tourist Road. This humble retailer operates as a cafe, deli and provador, selling local and imported small goods, specialty cheeses and preserves to take away. All of the cooking is done in-house and the health-conscious menu also caters for vegetarians, vegans and those with food intolerances. Well, they say variety is the spice of life, so I've gone for the Plowman's Platter, which has free-range meat, cheeses and plenty of other homemade goodies. It's all locally produced and it's 100% delicious. <laughs> if you'd like more information on any of the Alinda businesses featured in this story, check out the details on screen now. I feel like I've been transported halfway around the world, but believe it or not, this Roman bathhouse is located in the foothills of the Dandenongs. Join me after the break as I enjoy a spa treatment like no other. Sunday Drive, which is brought to you by Dodge, I ventured to the foothills of the Dandenongs to a luxury spa retreat. Let the pampering begin. Located approximately 45 minutes east of Melbourne, Spa de Marrakesh is a Moroccan spa and Roman bathhouse that offers traditional Middle Eastern treatments designed to awaken the senses, purify the body and relieve the mind. Now tell me, how did you go about bringing Morocco to Melbourne? Well, there was a lot of research done for several years before I even considered building. Did that research in Dubai and Morocco, found out what makes the best hammam experience in the Middle East. And did you bring pieces over that have helped furnish this beautiful spa? Absolutely. They all come from either Egypt, 
Turkey, Dubai or Morocco. Wonderful. And the treatments, are they also Moroccan inspired? Absolutely. They're based on the best hammam treatments in the Middle East using ancient treatments and rituals, orange blossom, jasmine, verbena, amber and musk fragrances. My spa journey began in the Roman bathhouse. Opulent spaces such as these were introduced by the Romans throughout the ancient world and became prevalent in the Middle East where they are known as hammams. This bathing pool is filled with heated mineral water, which is believed to help relieve stress, improve skin health, and rejuvenate the body. Spa de Marrakesh also has spacious and beautifully designed treatment areas. I received a desert sand body scrub in one of the private double rooms, followed by a Marrakesh mud mask. I then entered the Arabian steam temple where I experienced color therapy which is believed to correct any imbalances amongst the body's internal energy centres. Finally, after a rain shower, I enjoyed a full body massage. I've been treated to quite a few spa treatments while working on this show, but I have to say none have been quite like that. And to top it off, I'm about to indulge in a Moroccan banquet for one. Spa de Marrakesh also offers a Middle Eastern dining experience that can be enjoyed before or after your treatment. Served in a Moroccan-style booth, guests can savour a range of meze delights as well as larger dishes such as coral trout with vegetable tagine. And as if an opulent day spa and delicious food wasn't enough, there's also Balinese-inspired luxurious accommodation on site. This place keeps getting better and better. The Balinese Retreat is a thoughtfully designed romantic oasis that truly epitomises five-star luxury. The king-size bedroom overlooks a cascading waterfall and tropical gardens, whilst the resort-style bathroom features a mosaic plunge bath and a waterfall shower. Guests can also enjoy their own exotic lounge complete with Balinese day beds, as well as a private dining pavilion out on the Blue Lagoon. You can indulge in a romantic dinner out here cooked by your very own chef or simply sit back and take in the scenic views. Either way, this little piece of paradise is exclusively yours for the length of your stay. If you'd like more information on Spa de Marrakesh or the luxurious accommodation on site, then here are the details. Winter is the perfect time to head to the Dandenongs for some rest and relaxation. And here is the perfect excuse, as one lucky Postcards viewer will win the amazing Arabian Romance Package at the Balinese Retreat. Included is overnight villa accommodation for two people, plus a five-course chef's tasting menu in the Oriental Lounge, a Roman bathhouse experience, Oriental hammam ritual, Arabian steam temple and a two-course a la carte breakfast to complete the package. Valued at up to $1,799. To enter, just dial 1902-554-992 or SMS 199-54992 with your name, address and daytime phone number before midday Tuesday. And as always, make sure to watch our next show to see if you've won, just like last week's Melbourne International Film Festival winner, whose name appears on screen now. Good luck. These striking silos are part of the Piggery Cafe and Bakery, the first stage of the ambitious redevelopment of the Burnham Beaches estate here in the Dandenong Ranges. And make sure you join me after the break because we're going to head inside and take a look. Burnham Beaches is an iconic art modern mansion and estate located in Sherbrooke in the heart of the Dandenong Ranges, less than an hour's drive from Melbourne. Built in 1933, the mansion was originally home to the Nicholas family, founders of the Aspro brand. Now it's on its way to becoming an opulent six-star hotel. The estate is being redeveloped by chef and restaurateur Shannon Bennett of Voudemont. And while the hotel won't be welcoming any guests until 2018, the Piggery Cafe and its adjoining bakery is already up and running. Anything Shannon Bennett puts his name to would have me running to the hills, and the Piggery Cafe is no exception. Though it was once the estate's pigsty, you'll now find a pristine yet rustic space and a menu that's impossible to resist. Max, I'm so glad you brought out so much food. It all looks delicious. Oh, thank you. What do we have here? So you can start with a breakfast item. We said duck scrambled eggs with crispy bacon and sourdough. 
You also have uh, the black mole wagyu beef burger, the charcuterie plate to share. Delicious. What do we have here? The chicken platter, the wings, the nuggets, the quarter, so with stuffing and pepper mayonnaise. Delicious. And then you've got a beautiful selection of the afternoon tea savory items. Fantastic. A wall of bread and an immaculate display of sweet delicacies is the public face of the Burnham Bakery, which creates true artisan breads for all of the group's restaurants and cafes. In addition to conventional sourdough breads, the bakery also uses Emma, Spelt and Heirloom wheat flours to make breads worth breaking. Today we're making the traditional French baguette um, and I'm just docking it with my fingers like this and rolling it out to get some length. Okay, kind of like playing the piano, yeah? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> you just get some nice lines down the middle. So, Beautiful. Yeah, everything's biodynamic, organic. Um, we use rye and spelt and wholemeal. So those flowers give you um, more of a stronger nutty flavour. Okay, yeah. now tell me about my favourite, brioche. What uh, do you put in that? It tastes so good. So we <laughs> use, again, uh, organic white flour, free-range eggs, really good French butter and lots of sugar. So, yeah, it's good. French butter and sugar, you yes. had me there. Yeah. That's it, yeah. There are grand plans for this gastronomic village where a productive kitchen garden has already been established and almost 500 oak trees have been inoculated so that truffles may grow. You can play croquet, bocce or lawn bowls or just hang out with the emus who are hard at work producing eggs for the cafe. Together with the hotel, a steakhouse, a brewery, a chicken run and a dairy that is still to come, they'll bring new life to this almost forgotten treasure. The neighbouring Alfred Nicholas Gardens are the original gardens of the Burnham Beaches estate and they were donated to the people of Victoria in 1965. Today they are managed by Parks Victoria and are yet another great reason to visit this stunning area. The gardens are renowned for their extensive water features like this picturesque lake and the many linking pathways certainly come in handy when it comes to walking off your delicious lunch. If you'd like more information about Burnham Beach's Piggery Cafe and Bakery, then here are the details. The Dodge Journey SXT has featured throughout this week's postcard show. It comes loaded with all the comfort and flexibility that a busy lifestyle demands, not to mention a stylish exterior. The Dodge Journey boasts a seven-seat layout with a large cargo area, but you can add more room with Journey's fold-flat seating. A smooth 206-kilowatt V6 petrol engine is coupled to a slick-shifting six-speed automatic transmission. Features include a Uconnect 8.4-inch touchscreen with integrated reverse camera and park assist and a tri-zone automatic temperature control air conditioner. For further info on the Dodge and its options, go to dodge.com.au. Every time you turn a corner here at the Alfred Nicholas Gardens, you'll discover something really quite lovely. So while I keep exploring, it's time for you to have a look at our hotels.com Great Escape Deal. To get things off to a flying start today, here's a fantastic half price Great Escape at Travelodge Docklands. That's right, the first 100 postcards viewers to book online now and stay before the 30th of September this year can save up to 50% off the normal rate with overnight accommodation in a king room, including buffet breakfast and midday checkout from only $139 per night. With such a cheap rate, this offer will sell out, so you'll need to jump online now to make your reservation and not miss out. For another great Melbourne city location, central to shopping and dining, Oaks on Collins is an apartment-style property and today are offering studio accommodation for two people from as little as $278 for both nights. This offer is exclusive to Hotels.com and is valid for the first 100 online booking confirmations now. But do keep in mind that to get this rate at up to 40% off, you must stay a minimum two consecutive nights. With long validity until the end of October and a midday checkout also included, this package will sell out fast. St Kilda Road has to be one of Melbourne's most picturesque places with the tree-lined boulevard, botanical gardens and the Shrine of Remembrance all at your doorstep. So if this location sounds like your ideal escape, then here's an offer at Park Regis Griffin Suite just for you. Up for grabs for the first 100hotels.com reservations now that stay before September the 30th is overnight accommodation in a studio apartment from a crazy $99 per night. But to grab this half price bargain, you'll need to be quick, keeping in mind that a $20 surcharge applies to bookings that include a Friday or Saturday evening.
To book more fantastic hotel offers at any time, simply log on to Hotels.com. And for more information on anything you've seen in this episode, pay a visit to our website, visitvictoria.com forward slash postcards. Join us next time for part one of our four-part series of Where to Go in Tasmania. Follow us as we travel to the Launceston area, finding unique and boutique accommodation, outdoorsy activities, art, food and history. That's Postcards Launceston and Surround Special next Sunday at 5.30. That's all we have time for on this episode of Postcards, which has been brought to you by Dodge. And if you'd like any info on our cars, you can head to dodge.com.au. Well, the Dandenong Rangers are so close to Melbourne and they have so much to offer. I hope we've inspired you guys to pay them a visit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.